gorgeous hope you're having a fabulous day in today's video I'm showing you a full face makeup tutorial for fall using elf cosmetics this is a very affordable look easy to put together a lot of heavy emphasis being placed on the lips they're very bold but I'll show you how to keep the look wearable so you can sport this any day that you want this season so we will start off with some skincare products. First product I'm using here is their Super Brighten Peel Pad with Brightening Alpha Hydroxy Acids. I've been using these for a little while and I really like how they feel on the skin and I feel like they make my skin a little bit smoother, specifically before makeup applications. I've really been enjoying these. I also wanted to share this mini skincare kit with you. I'm not going to be using a majority of the products in this little kit that I'm showing you up close here because they're made mainly for nighttime. That's when I have been using them, but I wanted to share what's in here. They have a cleanser that has a clarifying solution in it to really get makeup off of your face, a toner to help brighten a dull skin tone. They also have a super mask in here that you leave on for about 15 minutes. It makes your skin feel really soft and smooth afterwards. It's great before you go to bed. And they also have a moisturizer. And like I said, I've been using these mainly at night, but the moisturizer is light enough to where you can wear it under makeup and it won't affect the wear time. And you can see what it looks like up close here. It's got like a jelly consistency to it. So I'll go ahead and apply that and it sinks right in. It feels like water when you're applying it. It's very similar in feeling to the Tatcha water cream, if you've ever tried that. I feel like this is a much more affordable version, if you will. And it's already dried, if you can believe it. It just it sinks right in. I went ahead and applied my eyeshadow primer and the palette that I'm using today is one called the New Classics. A lot of really beautiful neutrals in here. I thought it would be perfect for a fall famed look. Thank you for printing the names on the palette, elf. <laughs> this is so nice to see. Okay, so the first shade I'm taking from this palette is the one called Truffle. It'll just be a very light application of it in the crease, carrying that towards the brow bone, basically laying a foundation for the look. And by the way, I love how many mattes are in this palette and the quality is really, really good. Then I'm taking the shade called Muse, which is a really deep brown. It's almost got some burgundy tones to it. Very warm brown and I'm applying this in the outer crease. I'm only adding a little bit at a time because it's one of those that's really, <laughs> really pigmented. I just can't get over how beautiful these colors are, how they blend together so easily. I mean, it's just, it's so seamless. And then for the inner corner of my eyes, I'm going to go in a little bit of a different direction with this look. Traditionally, if I were gonna stick in my comfort zone and do something that I always do, I would use a shade like the one called Glamour here, or possibly the one up here like Creme, to put that onto the inner corner and keep the look very simplistic. But since this is a fall themed look, I think I wanna take it to another level and use the gilded shade here, the green. I think greens are really beautiful in fall too. And so I'll apply that on that empty space. And this is light enough where it's not going to compete with the lip color that I am going to be adding because I'm going with a more berry lip with this look. If this was a little bit of a different green, it may not work so well, but because it's lighter, it'll blend in a little bit better. And that's the rule of thumb that I've always tended to stick to when it comes to wearing more colorful lipstick. You can wear color on your eyes, but it just depends on the kind of shade that you're wearing. If you're wearing a really bold, deep shade, sometimes it can get hard to wear a bold, deep shade on your lips. But if you're keeping the shade of the color a little bit lighter, then it can make wearing those more bold lip colors a little bit easier. I'm also going to add a little bit of e.l.f.'s No Budge Retractable Liner. This is in the shade Coffee, and I'm applying that directly onto the lower waterline. And for the upper lash line, I'm using e.l.f.'s H2O Proof Liquid Eyeliner. This is great stuff, I'm gonna tell you now. Watch that pigment. Ugh, you had to go blurry, right? <laughs> Let's try that again, okay. It's beautiful.
gorgeousness. Okay. And then for the brows, I'm using the ultra precise brow pencil. This is in the shade Auburn. And this is actually a really nice shade of Auburn. It's not red. It's a more natural looking Auburn and excellent quality as you can see here. I mean, I'm able to do small strokes to mimic what hairs would look like. It's just an excellent quality pencil all the way around. I've really been enjoying this one. What a difference a brow makes, right? It's amazing how when you go from not ever having drawn your brows, there was a time I didn't, <laughs> to doing it and it just it literally just transforms your entire face. Went ahead and added some lashes. If you're interested, they're from my lash line. I'll have them linked for you below in the description box. For the rest of the face, I am first starting off with the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation. This is oil-free, provides medium coverage. The shade that I'm using is Snow. I get asked sometimes what foundation shades I use, which ones are the ones that are my usual color. And when I'm looking at a foundation, it's usually the cool one with pink undertones because that is what I have in my skin. And usually when it's hard to tell, what color I am, especially when you're ordering online, that is the shade that I will go for. And nine times out of 10, it's matched me really well once I get it in person. This stuff is amazing. It looks like skin. It's beautiful. I didn't apply much of it though, so I didn't want real heavy coverage with it, but it doesn't look cakey. It's blending in effortlessly. It looks great. And for my under eye area, Elf's Camo Concealer. You've seen me use this so many times. I don't need to talk about it. You know how much I love it. Really don't need much of it. Shade reference, by the way, is Light Peach. And then I'm setting my face with this powder from Elf, which has a dent in it because it's fabulous. I think this is part of their Beautifully Bare collection. I love it because it gives your skin a filterized appearance. It softens and blurs everything. For the rest of the face, I am first taking Elf's bronzer, which I'm using as a contour. This is in the shade Forever Sunkissed. Just applying a little bit of that to give the face a bit of dimension and a little bit of blush. This is Elf's Twinkle Pink, which is a really pretty light color. And I'll apply that on the top of the cheeks. And for my lips, I'm going with one of their Sheer Slick Lipsticks in the shade Black Cherry. These are fabulous because it's like a lip balm and a lipstick in one. The color isn't as intense as a traditional lipstick, but it's very moisturizing and hydrating on the lips. And there you can see the kind of effect that you get. I do want to intensify this a little bit more. I'm actually going to change my direction a little bit here. I'm adding in a deep plum lip liner, and then I'm going to apply that Sheer slick lipstick over the top because I really want the lips to be a little bit more intense for this look. And to set everything and make sure nothing moves, I'm using ELF's Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. So this has green tea, cucumber, and aloe. They say you gotta shake it really, really well. So I'm going to go ahead and spray my brush with it. You can really smell the cucumber and aloe. That's what I'm smelling the most. It's very refreshing on the face. Gorgeous, and it didn't cost me an arm and a leg to put it together. If you were interested in any of the products I used to create today's look, I'll have all of them listed and linked for you below in the description box. They will be affiliate links. So if you click through and purchase, I'd like to say thank you for helping to support this channel and our family. Wishing you a beautiful day ahead. Thank you for being here and taking the time to watch. I look forward to seeing you again next time.